To an I-Team exclusive now, our children are growing up in a new online world, and new numbers show it is a scary one. Child exploitation cases doubled last year to more than 18 million. That's according to the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. So how do you police your children online if you're not a detective? Well, News 4 Government Affairs reporter Melissa Russo scored the secrets of a computer crimes detective at the NYPD. Some cases are pretty severe in terms of what people are doing to children. The sheer number of child victims is something Detective Andrew Shore never anticipated when he signed up to crack computer crimes. Every month, I would say we have we get hundreds of complaints and hundreds of tips. Tips about sick predators who use social media to lure children into sex and pornography. It's tough to look at, you know, especially on a daily basis, and some of the cases really get to you. If you saw what Detective Shore sees all day, you might understand his rules for his own kids. I lock my kids out of, I mean, my, my children don't have social media, which probably isn't a good answer for everybody. Um, but, you know, um, I, I monitor what they do online. Certainly what I do is not going to be, you know, for everybody. Um, and, and I would never, you know, propose, you know, my beliefs or onto anyone else. Shore says he got his kids to sign a contract when they got cell phones, promising to share their passwords with parents. If you're going to allow them to use social media, you should know what their account name is. You should be friends with them on their account so you could see what's going on back and forth. And to keep kids out of trouble, Shore recommends not letting children keep a phone overnight in their room. Like I have my children uh, put their phones on a charging station, you know, in like a common area where we can see at night that, okay, the phones are there. The next one is important. It says on the contract is spelled out, I found it online, you know, I'll never take photos that I wouldn't send, you know, or that I wouldn't want my grandma to see. Finally, Shore says children should tell their parents if they're being harassed or have already gotten into trouble online. On this one, he says parents should also promise not to freak out. And if it appears your child is being enticed or exploited, it's so important that you report it right away. Um, you don't have to feel embarrassed. You don't have to feel ashamed. Um, you know, like we're in this together. We're all parents. And what happens when your kids resist? Well, they lose the phone. You know, um, that's part of the contract that I have them sign when I give them the phone. It's my phone. I'm letting you use it. Detective Shore also uses parental software that helps monitor his kids' activity. I think if parents took a more active role in what their children do, I think we would have a lot less problems. Finally, he shared the phone number for his squad. Don't call him for advice on monitoring your kids, though. That number is in case you have a serious concern that someone's trying to entice a child online. I'm a parent. I'm happy to help anybody that's, that's in trouble. And that number is on our website at NBCNewYork.com. And there you can also find a sample contract that you can print and customize to use with your kids to help manage your children's time online. As a parent, I can say I know it's often too much time online and hard to stay on top of it. So we thank Detective Shore for his tips. Natalie, David.